So we'll go ahead and open the hearing of the Zone Board of Appeals. Um, um, I am David Bloomberg. I am joined by Maureen Scanlon, Sarah Northrup, Elizabeth Silver, Carolyn Mish from City of Northampton Office of Planning and Sustainability. I have that, thank you. And um, the, um, there's only one item on the agenda, but I guess we'll, we always open with uh, public comment for anyone who's here from the public, but I don't see anybody here from the public other than the applicants, so we'll move on to the, the one item, which is the special permit uh, request for larger signs submitted by Agnoli Sign Company for Colluding in Healthcare at 22 Atwood Drive, Northampton, MAP ID 39-60. Notice of this hearing is published September 14th and September 21. Um, and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll just ask uh, the applicant and anyone who speaks to introduce himself or herself and give us a name and address. And uh, we'll start with a brief explanation sure. by the applicant of the application, please. Thank you, sure, either. David, can yes, I, sure. I, I just want to disclose that I have done work with this applicant before. Okay. And it's um, not doing any current work, but I've worked directly with Mr. Auerbach on a previous project. Okay, that but, but nothing currently. Closed, not currently. Uh, and I, start, I, I assume there and I assume there are no objections uh, to uh, Maureen sitting in on the no. hearing. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, go ahead, please. Good evening. My name is Harry Auerbach. I'm with Agnoli Sign Company. We're in Central Massachusetts. We're here on behalf of Cooley Dickinson. Uh, Cooley Dickinson has yeah, um, a 22 Atwood. It's a three-story building that uh, there are uh, providers and, and service people. Do I have that right? Yeah. Services. Um, and pardon me, um, Mark is from, from Cooley Dickinson and uh, Mark Jordan. So he's here to answer any questions in, in that regard. Um, we are here obviously for a special permit because the, the sign is a, is a little larger than normal. There are two signs that we're requesting. The first sign faces Route 5. Um, it is actually not on the main entrance. Uh, it is what we call a channel letter sign. Um, and if should I go into a brief explanation of channel letters? It's front lit, it's light comes out uh, from, from the letter itself. Um, and uh, the, her logo, the shield, is also a front lit uh, uh, channel letter or channel logo. Um, these are held onto the building on rails, we call them raceways, to minimize the, the, the um, securing of the letters, individual letters to the wall, the landlord, which is Development Associates have asked us to put it on a rail system. It's, it's colored the same color as the bricks, so it kind of blends in. And all the wiring to the letters is through this, this two by two raceway. Um, the Massachusetts General Hospital affiliate, non illuminated, these are, um, these are foam letters that are made out of one inch high density foam. Again, will not be illuminated, and um, primarily, and, and that's based on the sign itself. Okay. And so you're not, this application is not required because it's a request for more than the allowable number. It's, it's solely because of the request for a, a sign that's larger than allowed? Right. I think they already have, so you're allowed one sign right. wall sign, I mean one facade sign basically per side. Per side. So, so this has nothing to do with the number of uh, uh, requests for an additional Right. More it's a larger size. number than allowed, yeah. only larger size than allowed. Yeah. Okay. And it would be in compliance with the normal procedure that after, I believe after 11 o'clock at night, it turns off, so it's not on 24 7 right. It'll go on at dusk and um, it goes off, you know, it's on a timer. Thank you. Any questions from the board? Um, yeah, can you clarify? We're seeing this. Alongside Route 5, there are two surfaces we see signs for. Right? Correct. Uh, the sketch labeled Location 1, uh, A, at the bottom right hand corner, that actually faces Route 5. Um, that part of the building faces Route 5. So you have 8 Atwood and then 22 Atwood. So this is the building that sits at the closer to Route 5. Uh, actually, this actually fits, sits farther away from Route 5. 8 Atwood is closer to Route 5. This is the second building as you drive in. But it's parallel to the car. Mm -hmm. And yes. then this other one, yes, this other one, this other one is perpendicular to Route Five. It's the main entrance. That's the yeah. 
the, the one labeled B um, is over the main entrance, which is actually, some people would say the back of the building. So the part, it's over, it faces the parking lot. It's totally not visible from Route 5. So, um, I, I'm sorry, I, I just, I thought that 22 was the one closer to Route 5. Uh, it is not noted. Eight is closer to Route Five, and this is on twenty-two. This is twenty-two. This so is the building. Two buildings, and there will be more. Not on this side. Up, up across the street. Okay. Where the the, the the hotel, what the Clarion Hotel was. Right. Okay. And Cooley Dickinson again. The, their uh, the providers and services. services occupy all three floors. And we've, we've had a discussion with development associates, and they have, have approved you know, the sign, the additional signage. So the only one visible from, neither of these is visible from 91? That is correct. Uh, 91 goes behind, um, let me get it. this is the east side of the building, if you will. Um, if you, it, you're actually facing west, but it actually, it is the east side. The west side of the building faces 91. There, and it's, we had actually talked about doing something there, but because of the trees, it makes no sense. Yeah. Thank you for that question. Sure. So, um, so the, the one higher up on the building, about how high? It looks like it's above the second story windows. It, it is, actually, yes, it's between the second and the third story. And uh, bear with me, I'm going to say it is approximately about 20 to 30, it's about 20 feet above the ground. And that's a, that's, that's a rough estimate. I, I could be more specific if the letters are 18 inches. So the, the shield itself. Yes. Yeah, I see the shield itself is uh, more than three feet, almost four feet high. Correct. So. And is that also illuminated? That is also illuminated, yes. Um, and it's facing Route yep. 5. So you, would you see it driving north on Route 5 from Hoyle? As you're driving north on Route 5, yes, you, you will see it. That, okay. um, it, it, it so it's kind of the side, like as, as, as you're coming up, you'll start to see it. It's not correct. It's not correct. Yeah. Yeah. South. Right. right. Again, uh, you'll see it as you're. If, if, if I may, if it's at 9 o'clock, you're probably going to see it at 7 o'clock. But then the, the 8 app will block it for a while, and then yep. you'll see it again. So, so the, the letters together, um, I'm looking at the color drawing, I mm -hmm. see these little, these, these red asterisks. Right, those are, are, that's something for us in terms of fabrication. We, we have to do vertical braces. And, and that just tells our fabricators that, as okay. an example, uh, mm -hmm. behind the O in Cooley and the E in Cooley, we're going to do a vertical brace and hide it using mm -hmm. you know, the, the vertical portion of the E and most of that of the O. Ah. Yeah. And and similarly, the electrical box would be hidden under there somewhere. Correct. The the um, the brown colored grid, if you will. Mm -hmm. Well, Each letter has to have be powered, has to have wiring, and runs off a, a what we call a remote power source. Mm -hmm. So that we run all the wiring through that. At one time, we had proposed putting all the letters on the walls, but a development associate said, "Please minimize the the, the drilling into the, the building." So we come up, we came up with this grid. Mm -hmm. So uh, what is the? Uh, so we're looking at the larger than allowed. That's Correct. Like, what it, um, I didn't find the allowed in the table. Um, it's 100 square feet um, or 10% of the wall area, and they're at about 161 square feet. Because um, you draw a box around the whole right. thing to get yeah. the. Less than 10% of the wall area. It's a big wall. Yeah. Right, so typically but you don't usually add, so the idea is you just add the first floor, for, you just mm -hmm. use the first floor that says they're in three stories. And so what, what, we, what we did for, um, for the building department, we, we took 46 inches, if I may, times 503 divided by 144, mm -hmm. and we come up with 160. Mm -hmm. That's great. So that's that one of them 
um, and similarly with the second side of the drawing B, parking lot side, um, it looks like that's maybe uh, 10 or 12 feet up, something like that. Yes. Not as high. Yep. That's between the, uh, the, it's between the first and second floor. And it looks like it's about five feet by, I don't see a square foot. Uh, it's right. actually 80 square feet, uh, 60 times 192. It's, it's 16 feet left to right, uh, five feet top to bottom, so it's 80 square feet. There's currently any signage there that that's going to replace? There, there is no, there is no signage. And if you'd like, I, have, I can show you pictures of before. It's just, there are mullions there. Um, It is completely blank. No, that's okay. That was just the question. Yeah. And so on the side of me saying, I guess number one, there is signage now that just says like 22 Atwood and the. It is it. actually yeah, what we call a ground sign. Um, that it's more of a directory. That, so there's nothing on the building itself. It is a, it's a ground sign. Well, there is something on the building above the two doorways of the two buildings that gives the street location. Thank you. You're, yes. Um, over the parking lot side and over the side that face, face, uh, faces what was the hotel, there are what we call dimensional letters that say 22 Atwood. Can you tell me about the banner on this? Is that something that's there that you anticipated putting up? Is this an addition to That was, was there. I, Mark, do you know if it's still there? The banner that's currently on the wall is coming down. It was meant to be temporary. Once the new sign goes up. Anything, any other questions? Well, actually, only in terms of in the future build out, do we need to anticipate what signage they might be asking for in other buildings? No, you're really looking at this by itself and build how it. Building. Yeah. Okay. And if we think we have all the information we will need to make a decision, we could have a motion to close the public hearing and then we'll immediately follow the discussion and the vote. Is there anything, Mr. Chairman, to add? Anything you'd like to add? Uh, other than uh, thank you for allowing us to present it. Sure. Motion. motion to close the hearing, public hearing. Second. All in favor, that's unanimous. And then are we, re I guess, are we ready for a motion? Uh, Sure. Um, let's see. Well, I'm, I'm noting that uh, this is, uh, given the location and the size of the building and the quote unquote neighborhood, um, that I don't see any, any uh, negative effects of this. Right, just looking at the standard, we have to determine that the architecture of the building, the location of the building, or the land or nature of the use being made of the building or land is such that dot, 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 signs of a larger size would not detract from the character of the neighborhood and should be permitted in the public interest. I think that's the critical criteria, and, and we also have to make sure we we approve that we specify the exact sign permit at the size and location of the sign or signs and if applicable any other quote, any other restrictions we require I don't know if we have want to think about lighting or if we're okay with that but otherwise we could of course just move based on the specs as presented well actually I did have some issue around the lighting I mean I know it's general business and I know there's no um, residents residence there on the other hand and, and I and you said that it's visible as you're driving up five. I don't know how much of a distraction at night that would be. Um, and if businesses are gone earlier than 11 o'clock, it would be nice if the sign went out before that. And I don't know if you want to reopen this to see what time the last business is out of there, but. I think I, I heard some of the dust. dust yeah. Yeah. But I, we haven't heard anything from any other city department, so I don't know if any police or fire would no. have any opinion about that. But it's I mean, driver. <laughs> right. Yeah, I mean, and I you don't necessarily so. need to know what the out, I mean, um, my um, 
you know, you could say an hour after the close of business without having to know yeah, when I think we've done that before. Mm -hmm. um, that's that better. Yeah, and that's better. I mean, unless the last business doesn't close until midnight, in which case then there's an issue. But if well, they would have really offered it for 11, great, probably. But, <laughs> right. but, I mean, if the last business is out 7 or 8, then I think that's better. Well, patients are seen or services are, are does it does it fluctuate at eight ish nine ish does it it, it does it usually yeah it, it's by seven pretty much they're out like <laughs> <laughs> yes sir <laughs> okay. I guess I'm not okay Mark, Mark was just, telling me that we'd have um, to reopen should I just do a motion to reopen the public hearing uh, I, you can in this instance because no one was here for the hearing but I would not recommend that oh, as a yeah, yeah. Right, it defeats yeah. the purpose of closing yeah. the public hearing okay. I do share the same. I feel like we should be clear about the elimination. Well, since there's not going to be a controversy, should we move to open yeah, normally? Okay. It's not a normal so procedure. Moved. Okay. Second. Okay. So okay. It, kind of, okay. it kind of voids Sorry. the last motion, so to speak. So I'm still going to what, what So was Mark was informing me that uh, the practitioners and the service providers are uh, generally there until 7. It could be a little later. The parking lot lights go off at 10 p.m. Um, so you know we'll have to defer to the board in terms of when you know if, if 11 o'clock is too late, then when would be appropriate? And and then I guess my next question would be if if it is if you restrict it to a certain time and they decide that because to build a illuminated sign is, is very expensive. So if they're not going to get the benefit from it, you know it certainly during the winter they'll get some benefit from five to seven or five to eight or nine. Should they decide not to eliminate it? Would that affect this this discussion? Because the letters are going to be backlit, so there's not, and it's um, it's very the letters will be backlit. So it, it's and the fact that the building sits uh, like 200 yards off of Route Five, it's not like it's going to be in the field of vision or directly as a driver. You would see it certainly, which is the whole you know, yeah. advertising, but um, it's not bright. At least yeah. that's not, that was not our intent to be glaring. I These are limited. Okay. I was just going to say, I would just recommend they could be the same as when the sight lights are required to be turned off at 10. 10 p.m. And there's a, there's a rule of thumb for every inch of letter you can see it from 25 feet. So taking 25 times 18, that's 450 feet. Of in terms of visibility. So that second building is set back. Yeah. Um, will it be illuminated? Sure. Um, will it be, you know, we use an LED light, um, and I can't tell you the Kelvin rating, you know, is it really bright? It's bright, but I, I'm a little biased, obviously. So, so if we had a condition that it would, that the lights on the signage would go off at 10 p.m., would that be? We would certainly. What's the zoning in that area? General business. And where does it change? Right on the next parcel. <laughs> it's all agricultural land after that. And the route to the Oxford. That's significantly farther. That is, um, that's a next. There is, um, that's just a sort of isolated residential. And that would only be really facing that second zone. Highways in the way, I think. Uh, as well as I believe there's, 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 there's a lot of trees. trees. Yeah, yeah, that's right. There's a tree line. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, we again looked at as you come down the ramp, putting on that side. There's just there's just too many trees. So, so that's why we decided on. There used, to be, there used to be an airport there, Atwood Airport. That's why it's called that. Like really, Roger Atwood, who was, I was very close to. He, he died in his late 80s a few years ago. Traffic patterns overlapped almost with Northampton Airport because they were so close. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Into the early 60s. When I 91 came through, they took most of his airport, and that was the end of Atwood Airport. Was it, uh, was his direct, what did you, where did you take off? Did it parallel the current airport that they both took off? I think it was pretty close. Wow. That's yeah, but, I, but I'm not sure. That I'm not sure about. I, I've been flying at Northampton Airport for 25 years. But. Anyway, that's a digression. <laughs> that's um, I'm so, so, to yeah, thank you. The, <laughs> to to, to undo here. our do-over on yeah. the. Uh, <laughs> it never happened. The lesson there is we, we should we should ask about we yes. should. Yes. 
yeah. have that discussion about lighting yes. before we close. Second. Okay. All in favor of closing public hearing. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. And then I guess a motion on the application. Sure. Um, I move that we uh, approve the special permit for larger signs uh, for buying a really sign company for Cooley Dickinson Healthcare at 22 Howard Drive, Northampton, map 39, lot 60, uh, as presented. Second. Um, and discussion, do we want a condition on lighting? Condition on lighting, yeah. yes. At okay. closing, uh, ending at 10. Um, is that a, a permit uh, stipulation in there current? Is there site plan approval for this? Oh, uh, for, yes, but for the site only, not mm -hmm. for building. Gotcha. Can we say till end of practice hours or no later than 10? Maybe simpler to say 10. They can always turn it off earlier, but most people feel strong. I'm not, I don't have a okay. strong opinion. Okay, uh, uh, condition that the uh, sign is turned off at, the uh, illuminated sign is turned off at 10 p.m. By 10 p.m. At or before? At or before 10 p.m. Okay. And second one. Second. Okay, no, all okay. favor. That's unanimous. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Appreciate I was struck by the language, the terms, the speedy, the speed thing, and the rail thing, and all oh. the things on the lights. I, I just finished reading this book called Away With Words, and it's all about all these pun competitions, and the words were flying through my head as you were talking about that. <laughs> okay. hopefully, hopefully I wasn't too confused. No, 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 not at all. No, it was very interesting. Thank you. Thank you. We do have two other oh, right. things. One is a vote on some minutes. Yes. People get the minutes. Yes. And I wasn't there for that. May a part of the May Mark and I depart. Or well, you're all set. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Bye bye. Um, so the minutes from uh, September 14th. Just, uh, people had a chance. Yeah, I did. I just did it. Page two. Yeah. 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 Pretty good, pretty juicy typo somewhere. And now I can remember. Oh, really? Oh, the board? <laughs> yeah, the board discussed <laughs> on the top of page two. Okay. It's at uh, the beginning of the first full paragraph on the top of page two. A wild end. one? Yeah. Choose it. And uh, look okay otherwise? Uh, exactly. Yes. 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 I move to accept the minutes. Uh, second. Second. Oh, second. Okay. Oh, All in favor? Aye. Uh, yes. What uh, did the planning board do with that, by the way? Um, the Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin' Donuts. Sorry. It's okay. No, um, no, so there was a lot of discussion about various pieces. They actually um, um, approved a slightly wider curb cut. In but on both sides, both Damon and Industrial? No, 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 just the Damon Road. Okay. But, um, and the applicant was fine with this, but a much um, tighter flare on the, um, on the uh, median. So it, it really restricts uh, left turn into, yeah. yeah. The left turn into it mm -hmm. and then the right and turn the out as well. Out. The left in and left out are, are much, we well, there's no much left in, there's right, no right, right, right. I thought it was a right but, only. But only to the extent that there's a physical constraint would there be a no. So that's the other issue too. It's not just about constraining left in, it's about constraining people trying to scoot out like they do at the Pride Station now. So right. left in, left out, it will be constrained with a much tighter, um, so it won't be possible to do a left out. Right. Along with and the they'll do a granite um, curve. Okay, and it definitely won't be possible yeah. to do a left out. Yeah. Better than the Pride Station location. Oh. Um, but Pride could do something similar. Yeah. And what was the other thing related to? Oh, just that, yeah. So there's been no discussion about uh, you and I had a conversation. Yeah. No. So <laughs> yeah. Right. So, so so I've been um, missing a lot of meetings. Um, I don't. I'm not going anywhere. But um, and I noticed I noticed an application came in by NoHo Gateway LLC. Did that? Did I see that in my in my mailbox at work? Uh, it's the Sorry, it's Florence Savings Bank's going to go yes. down near yes, Pleasant Journey. And I Good. formed NoHo Gateway. I represent them on that acquisition, and I That's did the lease for What's that? That was just a finding, right? Commercial finding. Yeah. Okay. 
So I'm wondering if I'm gonna, if I may have to recuse myself from that one too. Yeah. But but where I'm really going with this is I, I've been the chair for I don't I've totally lost track how many years. And in fact, we're supposed to have an annual vote. And we haven't been doing that either. And I'm just wondering if I renominate you. <laughs> Do you I was second, second, <laughs> third. All those in favor? <laughs> okay, thank you. But but you you say no more. But even even even, I did. even, I even if I mean I miss a lot of meetings and either because well mostly because of conflicts because I've been around so long that I seem to have represented so many people. But I mean if people feel that way, you know, it, I, I don't, you know you it's been a couple, but overall okay. I don't okay. I guess I'm just feeling guilty because I miss a lot of meetings, but but. It, I, I I'm on, you know, Me the beginning of the learning okay. curve, and I benefit a lot from the board. Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, th okay. Then I just, I guess we'll put that off. Although we are supposed to have a vote, I guess. We just did. Okay. <laughs> that was the vote. Um, uh, are we being recorded? <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Well, I'm, I'm not. That's. I appreciate that. And uh, no, we appreciate I, you. I, I, well, thank you. And uh, so I guess I'll just withdraw Sorry. that. Somebody needs to and, do that finding. And then we just need a motion to adjourn. Well, wait, 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 wait. We need yeah, to just something make to a decision about. about that finding. We need two people. Two? We, well, we need three people for the hearing. So in two weeks, um, on October 12th is the next meeting. And that's there's one project, 530 commercial finding. So, and that's the And you people. have to recuse yourself if you I really do on that one. I yeah. Act yeah. currently, I represent Yes. Yeah. yeah. So then we would just need to make sure we had three members. So October 12th? Uh -huh. I could be here. School photo day. That's <laughs> faster than everybody else was. Do we have Morgan to you Are you checking yours? I'm okay. I'm okay. Now we can adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Favor. It's unanimous. Great. Thank you.